bad for me. One hit. Bad for me. One kiss. Bad for me. But I give in so easily. And no thank you is how it should have gone. I should stay strong. But I'm weak. <laughs> We have a test. We have a test? Why didn't no one tell me? Uh, teacher, teacher, I, I can't take it. Why? Um. You're not talking. <gasps> I wasn't talking. Oopsie. <laughs> Jason, I love your sunglasses. Can I try them on? No. Okay, we. Please? No. Please? No. We okay, fine. <laughs> got your glasses. I can't see. <laughs> do I look good, guys? Joshua, do I, I look can't good? See. <laughs> do I look good? I'm blind. Oh, fine. Take them. Don't hurt me. I'm small. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, guys. Stop. This is what seeing what I look like with brown eyes for the first time. Who am I? Is this actually I me? Looks so mysterious. <laughs> seeing what I for me, I really like corn. What do you like about corn? It's cold. A good corn with knobs. It has the juice. <laughs> Needs a little love in the dark heart. A little, but I'm hoping it might kickstart me and my broken heart. She said, Cause I really need somebody, so tell me you're that somebody. Girl, I fuck who I want and fuck who I don't. Got that A1 credit, as that feeling me know. She said, I never wanna make you mad, I just wanna make you proud. I say, Baby, just make me come, then don't make a sound. Uh -huh. so What is everyone staring at? You haven't told them yet, have you, baby? Allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> I am the one and only. Just a reminder that I am very fat and very sexy, and I am a hundred percent glorifying obesity, and there's nothing you can do about it. Then there was smoke Then that preacher man was hanging by a rope And then they all fell to their knees And begged that drift and begged him please As he raised his fist before he spoke I am the righteous hand of God And I am the devil that
Oh, that was horrible. No. What? Yeah. I'm sorry. Can I try? Yeah, of course. You mad! You don't work! sure he had the right but he's ugly and i'm glad he's dead because there was no fucking candle in his pumpkin head you're not special for winning a game with someone who you know was never playing she could have killed you she had every right you just caught her off guard. Dip your fries in ranch, you're gonna be shook. You're not gonna believe what I found, and you got me messed up if you actually think I'm gonna use this for chocolate. Cause no. I literally had to put so much ranch, but also why is it so satisfying going up the tube? It started working, and now I can die happy knowing that this exists. Tag a friend who dips everything in ranch. All right, here's my intro. My name is Chelsea. I'm affectionately called the adulterer apologist on TikTok. I had an affair over 10 years ago. I ended up marrying my affair partner and having three children with him. I'm here to help foster a conversation that helps humanize the people who do human things, like cheat. Better understand collectively why people do it and how they get to that place. I do not believe that there are any excuses or good reasons to cheat, other than the reason I wanted to. And I wanted to is a damn good enough reason to do just about anything. But there's so much more to it. We're fostering a community that asks curious, non-judgmental questions. We do not tell people what to do here. Their life, their decisions. Your life, your decisions. And my life, my decisions. And I have made the decision to continue in this venture in a big way. My past decisions are not up for debate. Actually, none of my personal decisions are up for debate. I think infidelity isn't discussed openly enough, inclusive of the perspective of the person who participated in the affair. How do you fall in love with somebody else when you're married to somebody else? How could you do that to somebody that you love? What happens to someone after they cheat? Can you love two people at the same time? 
I inadvertently went viral on TikTok when I posted something about struggling with guilt and shame to this day about the affair that happened 10 years ago. No, I'm not a professional. Yes, I can laugh at myself. No, I'm not a therapist. Yes, I have thin lips. I'm doing my best to make sure that this doesn't become an echo chamber. But in the six months I've been here, I've learned that I need to protect other people's well-being. And I will block if it's necessary. Tag me in if you feel like someone needs to be blocked from this community. I understand that I do not sit well with a lot of people. And I'm totally cool with that. If I bother you, I encourage you to block me. Who gave you permission to stare, princess? You look so afraid. Good. I'll crush that spirit of yours under my grasp. Now tear off that dress and crawl into my lap. The only throne you'll be sitting on tonight is mine. Oh, I got to go. Oh, I gotta go. Uh, gotta go. Uh, gotta go. Hmm. Gah. In your start with pleasure. Boom, say pleasure.